Let's use the following sample database for Coca-Cola bottling um, plan as an example to discuss some of the basic um, terminology and concept in a typical database. Uh, first of all, a database is really a collection of tables. In this case, customer, order, distributor, order line, and product are tables. So we have five tables in this particular database. For each table, uh, we should have um, a unique primary key. Um, each table should have one primary key, and the primary key uh, column for each row should have a unique value. Uh, let's use customers. customer table as example. For instance, um, in we have three customer ID, and there's no duplication. If I know customer t uh, number 43, I can find out a particular t row um, and retrieve its customer name, contact name, phone number. In this case, customer ID number 43 is uh, Pizza Palace, and Debbie is the contact person, and here is the phone number. So let's um, look at actually t uh, other table in terms of what are the primary key for other tables. Uh, for instance, uh, for the order, what do you think, which column or column should be used as a primary key? You probably figured it out. The order ID is the primary key. So let's just underline it and just say that is the primary key. So order ID is the primary key um, for the order table. How about distributor? Okay, It's pretty intuitive. It's probably distributor ID. So we use distributor ID as the primary key. How about product? Okay. For product, certain price cannot be a primary key because we have duplicated value. Um, in more than one row. Um, and description looks unique, but typically we would use uh, kind of a man-made unique identifier, in this case product ID, as the primary key. So in this case we're going to underline product ID and say that is the primary key for the product table. For the order line, uh, if you look at it, order line, we cannot use order ID as the primary key because in this example here we have uh, three order ID, three, four, five, six, one, has three entry here. So it's not a unique identifier for order line. However, we can combine more than one column. Um, to serve as a primary key. In this case, we can use order ID and line item, and together uh, that can be a unique identifier which can be chosen to serve as a primary key. So in this case, we will use order ID and line item as the, the primary key for the order line table. It, it is possible in this case to choose order ID and product ID together as the primary key, but um, we decided to choose order ID and line item as the primary key for the order line table. Okay. Um, one question you may ask is that where are all those detailed data coming from? Uh, it may come from, uh, for instance, um, an order entry form uh, like this one. This is the order form for customer who placed an order. So um, once we receive the information, we, we are going to enter specific data into the corresponding table. Sometimes an order form uh, may require you to update multiple table in your database. The next, um, the other major uh, term that we use in 
a relational database. Uh, by the way, this is uh, a typical relational database, which consists of multiple table. Um, another key concept is what we call foreign key. Foreign key, by definition, means that when you have a column or columns in a table where it is used as a primary key in another table, then we call this column a foreign key. Let's use the order table as example. For instance, the order ID over here is a foreign key. It is a foreign key because in, in this case, let me just change it a little bit. Um, the order ID is a foreign key because it is used as a primary key in the customer's table. Okay. So if you just say, is customer ID a foreign key? Um, I cannot answer that question because it's all relative to which table are you referring to when you mention a column. So customer ID in the customer table is a, its primary key. Customer ID in the order table is a foreign key. Got it? So once again, foreign key means that a column in a table it, when it's used as a primary key in another table, then we refer to this column as a foreign key. So here we have a line connecting the foreign key from one table to another table where it is used as a primary key. So in this case, if you follow the line, you will find out that distributor ID is also a foreign key because distributor ID is used as a primary key in the distributor table. How about this relationship, the two order ID? Okay. In this case, which one is the foreign key? Is it the order ID here or order ID here? By the way, the order ID here is a primary key for the order table. The order ID here, it is part of the primary key for the order line table. We call it part of the primary key because the primary key is order ID plus line item. Um, this is also a foreign key because order ID here is used as a primary key in the order table. Okay. So this is the example that you find that uh, a foreign key can be part of the primary key in a table. Okay. Do we have any other foreign key here in the order line table? Yep. You got it right. If you follow this line, you find out that product ID here in the order line table is actually used as a primary key in the product table. We, we usually call this foreign key primary key pair. They don't have to have the same column name, but they do have to have the same meaning the column, both column need to um, have the same data type and if it's a string they need to have the same number of character in order to um, to use this foreign key primary key pair um, to build the relationship between these two tables. So I just mentioned the turn code relationship. In this case, let's follow this line, which really is means relationship. For instance, customer may place many order. That's the primary key pointing to its foreign key. An order can be distributed by a distributor. A distributor can distribute many order for us. Each order can have multiple order line, and each order line 
contain just one and only one order. So if you follow the primary key to the foreign key, this is what we call one-to-many relationship. Each product can have multiple order line. Each customer can have can place multiple order, and each distributor can distribute multiple order for us. Each order can have multiple order line. And if you follow the relationship line re in the reverse order, and then you will find out that each order can only be placed by a single customer. Okay. So just use customer and order as an example. This is what we call one-to-many relationship. One customer can have placed multiple order. Each order is placed by one and only one customer. So foreign key primary key pair like the customer ID in the customer table where it's used as the primary key and the customer ID in the order table where it is used as a foreign key and this primary key foreign key pair is how we build a relationship in a relational database and um, this is very useful um, for us to navigate within a database um, in terms of issue complicated query. Um, for instance, if um, we found that um, the, the product um, Coca-Cola, product number 12345AA, is um, because of some fire in our bottling plant is temporarily out of stock. So we need to call all the customer who currently placing order on this particular product to inform them the potential delay. Then uh, this is what happened. You, it, visually, we can follow this line and find out that this product has been placed by order number three four five six three and three four five six one it's content in this two order the first order here and second order here and then we find out the first order is placed by customer number 23 this third order here is placed by customers order 765 so if you put out this customer's record, you find out I, you need to call David Logan with this phone number. And you need to call Tom, um, the contact person of T. Van Ro Zong um, company with this following number to inform them about the situation. So we started from here. We navigate to the order line and find out what the order are and then eventually find out who are the customer that place this order in in SQL language the structural query language that we use to query the database um, often we if you need information from more than one table usually we will conduct a so-called join operation and the join operation usually where we are using the foreign key primary key pair foreign key primary key pair foreign key primary key pair and foreign key primary key pair it's very very important mechanism in a relational database to give the database its flexibility in terms of retrieving the data the way we, we want it to, to give it back to the user. So this concludes our discussion. Um, database table, primary keys, foreign keys, and relationship. Thank you.